Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking, of course. So we got a request for the CHEK stock. I'm going to take a quick look at this. I haven't been following it for that long, but uh, maybe a couple days or up to a week for now. Just want to go over a few levels with you guys. And if you're just joining us, welcome and hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey as we continue to speculate in the markets in terms of price targets uh, we've been pretty accurate lately but we, we get it wrong as well so uh, just to be totally transparent with you guys but join us here engage in the comments section let me know that you just subscribe so i can personally welcome you into the charts this engagement pushes the channel out there the youtube algorithm really picks up on the channel when you guys do that thank you guys so much all of you our loyal subscribers as well let's go ahead and dive into this charts here guys let's not waste time let's dive right into the charts here shall we All right, so today's January the 12th, 2021, and the current price of check at CHEK is a ticker symbol is a dollar and 59 cents. It's down about 3% for the day. Okay. All right, so of course I come up with some lines here. Let me just go ahead and uh, let you guys uh, get a view of what I've been following here. That's it. A little bit messy, more lines than we normally have. But uh, this overhead is actually the target, believe it or not. I'm going to discuss that with you guys here in one second. But first, I guess to give everyone an overview of the stock, it's definitely perfectly confined in a downtrend. This thing has been walking down the stairs ever since. Not this thing. I, I hate saying that. It's, it sounds, you know, uh, disrespectful to the stock. But this symbol has been going down ever since March the 30th, approximately 2015, starting at about $70 here. It has been walking down the stairs, has never made a higher high, guys, ever, okay? So it is perfectly confined within a downtrend, speculatively breaking out of a bullish uh, breakout right now. We're going to go ahead and uh, get a microscopic view of that right here, right now. And uh, so this is the area. These are the weekly candles, by the way. And notice I've been following this uh, yellow descending line that was potentially acting as resistance, right? It was resistance. I mean, a... Uh, it's pretty much uh, broken out. So, I mean, as far as what I can see here in the technical data. Now, there's a range that I've identified. It's a pretty uh, broad range. So if you guys are interested, hopefully I'm going to put this out, this video out before the markets close today. Uh, for those of you who are interested in entering these markets. Now, from the current level down, and this isn't financial advice. Okay, let's make sure we're clear about that. Uh, this is what I would do if I were to enter this market, which I'm not entering this market uh, just yet. And if I'm going to, okay, that's still speculation. From the current level, which is at about a dollar fifty nine down, the range that I have is going to be um, about eighteen percent, seventeen to eighteen percent to the downside, because the range that I have is in between a dollar thirty one cents, a dollar and thirty cents, all the way up to uh, two dollars and eight cents. Okay, so those are the the level, the range that I think that the price may need to consolidate within for a little bit of time. I'm not really good at timing this stuff. Let's just call it a week or two up to. 30 days for it to consolidate to potentially continue uh, this blasting off to the upside, so to speak. So that is the current range. So again, I know someone's going to ask, should I buy in this, guys? You must assess your risk tolerance. How much are you willing to risk? Um, well, I guess I'll go ahead and reveal the overhead price target. Um, and again, you have to expect volatility. It's not going to go straight here. OK, maybe it will. I'm not sure. OK. But six dollars and twenty seven cents is the overhead target. OK, if it can eventually uh, respect the lows here at about a dollar thirty cents, maybe do some consolidating here, then I don't see why it'd be a problem for it to go um, there relatively quickly if it breaks above and stays above the two dollars and eight cent level. And I know the critics are saying, dude, you're all over the place. No, I'm giving you practical levels where, it, where the previous level of support was. And, of course, identifying overhead targets from a unique way that I look at the charts. OK, so, again, it's up to you to assess how you're going to enter this market. Uh, scale in method is preferred uh, as far as what I would typically as I norm I always use. So I'll say that scale in method, guys. OK, never just hit that buy button. I mean, you can do whatever you want. OK, if, if you're successful doing that, then great. Keep it up. OK, but um, I have been more. Um, practical uh, my more much more successful entries have been scale in methods okay so you have the levels this one hopefully is in a long video a dollar thirty up to two dollars and eight cents assess your risk tolerance guys uh let me just go ahead and measure how much of a percentage gain that would be to the upside if 
it does continue to the upside, guys. I don't know what this is. You know, I'm a technicals guy. I don't know what this is. Um, it's going to be 304% to the upside. So that way, I mean, you do you do the math, guys. You say, okay, he's saying it's going to go up 300%. I don't believe him. I think it'll only go up 100%. That's fine. So so calculate 100% from the ups, from the current level. Okay, a dollar thirty. That's going to be like three dollars or something, right? Uh, just over three three dollars and thirty seven cents. Okay, so you assess your risk tolerance. I'm going to risk ten percent on this play uh, to see if he's actually right to make you know a hundred percent of my money. So that's again, you have to determine how much you guys are going to risk. Sorry for those who who already know this stuff and you have to listen to that. And just I have to explain that for those who just going to ask me how should I buy here? I can't tell you where to buy, guys. All right, so that's pretty much uh, I'm going to wrap it up for uh, Check Cap LTD. Okay, again, I don't know what this is, guys. C H E K is the ticker symbol, and that's uh, pretty much what I have for you guys. Rewind it back if you missed those levels. Thank you for joining me here. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content, if you found some sort of value here. And of course, before you guys go, we also cover the alternative markets. If you guys are into Bitcoin and altcoins, we do our best to cover that seven days a week. So join us here, guys. We truly appreciate you guys. Expect unprofessionalism and accuracy on the channel. Again, this isn't financial advice. Again, I have to keep saying that. Um, and also, that's pretty much it, guys. I think I wrapped up, took care of everything. So take care of yourselves, protect your portfolio. We're going to talk very soon, guys. And bye for now.